Hello everyone. How you doing? You all right? Hope everything's well. Bit of a rush this morning, bit of a rush. And I knew, I knew that when this signing comes out, I'm going to be in a bloody meeting or doing something else. And that's what happened. My meeting with the bank started at one o'clock and the news went out about one o'clock, right? Sod's law, eh? But at least it wasn't five o'clock when I got a haircut plan, right? So I can't, can't be fussy, but good news. Jazz, Sally's going to bring you good news today. That's why we did the show yesterday. There we go. Kere is a hammer. Pace, versatility, German international, 20 caps. And I believe that now he's probably the fastest player we've got. If they had a race at their training ground, I think he would be up there winning it. 25, 26 years of age. I mean, if I just share my screen with you guys before going to the chat, I think this is... It doesn't always come off when you start offering stupid money for players, right? And in this situation, there's a good thing and a bad thing. The good thing is that West Ham have pulled off an amazing bargain, right? So let me just share my screen with you guys, and I'll go into it a bit more. Let's see. So it's kind of all been done, mate, all been done, but... If I, if I look at it, yeah, German international, CeeLo Kera. Again, you know what I'm like. I don't know how to pronounce half these bloody names, but I'm hope I hope you, I hope we'll find out a bit more about that. Let me just go into all the all the things. That's the thing with the website; it never goes into the financial side of things that much, right? So let me go into the Sky Sports one. So, yep, yeah, he's joined PSG. He joined PSG actually from Schalke. Four years ago, everyone, and there was a fight between PSG and Barcelona to get him, right? And 33 million was the fee, right? I can't remember euros or pounds, but it's not much difference usually between the currencies. So that tells you his stock in European world football at that young age when he was just 21, 22, right? And we've got him for... 10 million plus add-ons, right? Which is kind of crazy. And I think, well, I'll go, go into it again. I think he's in time. He could be playing. Um, but why does it say hopeful? Right, okay, okay, okay. So, yeah, it's 10 million plus add-ons. He arrived from London yesterday. They're hopeful of completing the deal in time for tomorrow's game against Viborg, which we'll go into a bit later on. But for me, everyone, what I was watching, I was reading up on him, I was watching clips last night, and he's athletic, he's super, super quick, great, great sort of physique when you look at him, six foot one, um, he can play most positions across that back for everyone, centre back, right side, left side, right back, and I've been told left back as well, right? So for me... He'll probably slot in somewhere around centre-back immediately because of the issues we've got. But we'll go into a bit later on. But once our first-choice centre-backs um, uh, sort of um, zoom around um, Agard are fit, I think he can slot into right-back. And, and there's a three more other signings that they're working on, which I'll go into a bit more, really. So before I, I get too excited and things like that, so... Yeah, let, let me let me look in the chat and see what you guys are saying, and then we'll we'll, we'll kind of start really. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I tweak I tweaked it a bit. The intro. I hope you like it. I hope you like it. Yeah, yeah. Battlefield. I hope you're all right, mate. I hope you're all right. All good news on the channel all the time, mate. All good news. Yeah, I'm all right. I'm all right, mate. I'm all right. Just running around. Lots going on. A bit cooler now with the rain, but I just knew I wanted to go live straight away. You know what I'm like, but I had to wait half an hour. I just wanted that meeting to end, so it's on the audio. I didn't know what I was doing, and you don't show your face sometimes on these Zoom calls. I was just like, hurry up, hurry up, I want to go live. So there we go. <laughs> Peter, Peter, say thank you to Uncle Granddad Sullivan first. Stop being greedy. Just say thank you first. The problem for me is he's going to do this thing all over, and it doesn't happen. This price, this deal is because PSG are screwed in a corner, right? These big teams have to meet the figures, financial fair play, and the window time is ticking down with two, three weeks to go. So they they wanted 20 million, which I think was a fair fee, right? But they're lucky that no one else came in. I think Sevilla came in, but he wanted to come to West Ham, which again is great news. But 
You're not all going to get a 20 foot, 25 million player for 10 all the time. And they managed to do it, right? And they only knew about his availability last week. So, so listen, where respect is respect due, like on our channel, right? We say a lot of things, honest. We do get carried away. We, we're enthusiastic. You know, we, we love our club. But well done to Rob Newman, David Moyes, and the owners for getting this one over the line. I think it's a, it's a snip at 10 million. And pace, you guys all told me we need pace. We need pace. It's just a shame. He might he might play left back sometimes if you want him to. I'm not sure. Obviously, I think it's Peter, one or two of you guys in the chat saying that at Schalke he he can play on the left side. He is both footed, but predominantly since PSG, he's been centre back, right footed, right back, that kind of thing really. And I think he's got the stamina to play wing back. A lot of assists in his game and a few goals here and there for centre back, which is weird, you know. So I think he can. Utility-wise, he can fit in a lot of positions. And again, I think he wants to get his career back online and that kind of thing. Um, PSG hasn't quite kicked off for him. But having said that, he's played over 20, 25 games a year, last three years in the league, right? And PSG, if you go through this squad, how big it is, the world-class players in there, I think, listen, he's done all right. He's done all right. <laughs> listen... You just got to do, you got to do it, mate, right? And talking about Vyborg, which you'll come to in a minute, they got two of their players and get the visas. So two players for Vyborg with less than a week ago couldn't get their non-EU international clearance. So one of them plays all the time. The other one actually scored a goal, even though he doesn't play a lot. So that's good news for us, really. They're going to be missing a winger and another guy, everyone. I, I, would, um, I would play him as and when you need it, right? France, PSG, Paris to London, not a long trip, hour on the plane, super fit guy. I'd play him. I think we... I think the main thing is, Peter, let's start with a strong team and then you bring him off. I, that's the way I always look at it, not the other way around, right? Because the other way around for West Ham never works, right? And then we're usually losing, we're drawing, and then Moyes ain't going to change it till late on, right? So I, I'd start him at centre-back, mate. I wouldn't play Zuma, though. Because some of the news that's coming out, we've got to protect him a bit. I wouldn't play Zuma. So I'll play him and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see later on what we can do, mate. Yeah, but Trini, his, his main position is held up by Kufal, who's one of David's kind of part-time badge holders, isn't he? So <laughs> he would be on the bench, mate. He'd be on the bench. Yeah, I wasn't sure when the news came out, Mick, last week. Hope you're well. But now I'm I'm growing into it now, and I'm really, really happy. Really happy now, mate. <laughs> yeah, I think the price is brilliant. The price is brilliant, and he's everything that we need, isn't it, everyone? You know, let me just have a look at... Uh, so he's predominantly a centre-back, features as a full-back for club or country, where he can also operate as a wing-back, or a CDM, I forgot about that. So you're going to get a lot of bargain, 10 million, and he can play across four or five positions there, mate. Yeah, and we're also pursuing a move for Emerson, which we'll look into a bit later on. The club zone talks 30 million. Okay, we'll look into that a bit more. What is West Ham saying? Because I think there's a video about him as well. There he is. Look at him, looking very, very happy. Slim and trim, ready to go. Germany international. Not not too many German internationals played for West Ham. Not many. I remember Hitzberger, but was he Austrian or German? I can't remember now. Not many. Let me know in the chat any other German internationals, you know. Four-year contract, two-year option, and apparently we have beaten off stiff competition from a couple of Champions League clubs. Three-time league domestic winner, UEFA Champions League finalist, and regular start in the 2022 World Cup for Germany. Biggest goal is to get into the team, integrate himself, and enjoy playing for West Ham. I'm very excited to sign for West Ham. We'll wear the number 24 shirt, everyone. Best league in the world. Excited about coming to the Premier League. He talked to the manager. He said, I didn't know what he said. Couldn't understand him with his Glaswegian accent. But yeah, I just said, all right, I'm coming anyway. <laughs> Am I being unfair? I don't think anyone understands David from abroad. You must be joking. Six summer signing behind Agard, Ariola, Skamaka, Corne Downs. I saw, I saw some training footage last night, everyone, and it looked good. Skamaka, some of his finishing was really, really good. Um, the team 
was in good spirits. That's good to see that they're not too much down after the difficult start. Corne was kind of buzzing around. So just need these boys to start, you know, you know, especially Brighton. We need Skamaka, Corne and, and this boy to start. But with David, as always, he always knows how to, how to wind us up, everyone, doesn't he? He knows how to wind us up, mate. Seeing what's going on here. What's going on here? More breaking news? Hang on. No, nothing. Right. Right. Lee, how you doing, mate? You're at me. You're at me, mate. New sign. Happy Emma. Yeah. Signings make us happy, mate. Especially ones that kind of look okay and look, have good potential, don't they? Yeah. It, it's sometimes it's the luck of the draw and the luck of the timing. We, we hadn't tied one up. He just seemed to be on the way out. And a lot of these teams like Barca, Madrid... Um, PSG have spent too much money. They need to to look at their squad and get some people out the door. Darren, I'm all right, mate. I'm I'm even happy with this one, mate. Got it over the line. Got it early, mate. And that's it. We've got a good centre half, mate. Hammerhead Hardy. I'm all right. I'm all right. How you doing? You're right. Good. Good. <laughs> Peter wants another seven players, mate. Seriously. I don't know about that, mate. I don't know about that. I'm just checking if there's any more news coming in. Nope. Okay, yeah, another, we'll go into that. We're going to go into a minute. We're going to go into the formation. We're going to go and see what we need. 10 million, Tommy. Hope you're well. 10 million plus add-ons. That is a snip, mate. That is really, really good. Yeah, we're going to go into it in a minute, mate. See, a lot about these centre-backs is if we're going to play full-backs, new, new pacey full-backs, we're going to play like wing-backs, we need mobility all around the pitch to cover because we're going to leave some gaps to be on. If we want this more expensive, West Ham, John Lyle-type football that David Moyes is looking to get, that's, that's what we need, and he fits the bill. Yeah, a lot of people from Germany do, to be fair, don't they? Dabs, I hope you're well. Yeah, Taron, hope you're well, mate. I think that one is in the pipeline. That one's coming along. And I'm not sure about him, mate. I'm not sure about him. But if he comes in, we'll support him. I certainly won't. I'd have a bit of a moan before he signs. But once he signs, I'm not saying anything. Just then, then prove me wrong. I'm not going to moan any more than that. That's it. But at the moment, I'm not sure about him. bit concerned about him. He's 28, 29. 13 million. I think Chelsea are having a laugh. He's their third choice left back. I think we've got to bring that fee down. They apparently knocked 30 million down. I might I might move away from that. I think maximum about 13. I think they want 15. But are we saying that if we get him in, they give us little dabs at Gallagher? That might help it, wouldn't it? One, you know, we'll see how it goes. Mike, it's all about timing. Some squads are ready full up. Um, we were there in the right time, you know, and I think that kind of worked. And I think, thanks, I think you've got to say, well done, Rob Newman. I think, I think hopefully, I am saying scattergun. I'm, so I have to be careful what I say. I don't keep saying different messages. Um, I'm hoping he was on that original list, you know, when the summer window started. Um, or he suddenly became available. They didn't think he would. But each, either way, I'm not bothered. I think he's a good, good, and hopefully the good news is David Moyes didn't waste time thinking about it. Because when these things happen, you got to move quick. I think Schalke were in there, things like that. So we had to move quick, really, regarding that, really. I'm going to put some footage of him in there for you guys while we talk about some other things. So that's his stats out there, everyone. 1996. So he's going to be, what, 26, is he? Something like that. Is it going to be 20? Listen, this, this website was so quick. They've got him down as a West Ham player already. Look, he joined today. Look, look how quick they are. West Ham United. 26 next month. We'll go into that in a minute. But let me put some footage on for you. So preferred foot is right. Centre back, six foot one. So I hope you enjoy the footage while we waffle on. Let's see what else it says. It, this website always has some good things about certain stats. Right back, left back, DM. So there we go. Style of play, versatile. Weakness, dribbling. We don't want him to dribble. You lose it. Natural fitness. Was that bravery? Let me go back to that again. Was that bravery? It's 
bloody thing moves across quick, doesn't it? Okay, now YouTube, you're a pain in the backside, mate. Gone far too quick for me. There we go. Strength, natural fitness, bravery, tackling, teamwork, aerial duels. And I think it's going to give them a rating for all the other bits. Tackling, marking, heading, crossing. See, crossing, passing. That's that's the weird thing about this centre back, the right back. He's got a really high score and good good kind of sort of reputation for crossing and passing. Technically brilliant, so really, really good. And I bet his pace is right up there, you know. I bet his figures that come up for pace are gonna be right up there. Yeah, acceleration seven, speed eight. Hardly injury prone, good agility, good stamina. Too good to be true, isn't it? You can even make this. It's like a human being, perfect, isn't he? Looks good, looks good. So the goals, yeah, let's have a look at that. Let's go for the chat. Can't have us, can't have us. Hope you're doing all right, Mike. Hope you're doing all right. Uh, no, nah, not for me, Ken Emerson. I don't know, but then you got to trust their due diligence and whatever they're looking for, mate. I'm not sure what they've seen. But you got to trust them, haven't you? You've got to trust the naughty boys, haven't you? See what they're saying about that. Peter! <laughs> you got a song for him already, you nutter. That's what I like to see. Yeah, we're going to look at that in a minute. Kent's already on it. Full-time FIFA coach, Kent. Are oh, you trying to do three things at once? Here? Get the YouTube on. Keep you guys happy. I'm making your tea and biscuits now. I'm looking at my other screens. I've got three screens on the other side. It's got to make sure the cat's happy, put out food for her, which I've done. Have a look at the garden. Has it been watered? Yeah, it looks all right. looks all right. There we go. Kent's got areola. Yeah, ain't going to play his mate Ashby. No, ain't going to play mate either Zuma, Oggy. Oh, is this for tomorrow? Gotcha, gotcha. Areola, Ashby. I don't want Zuma playing Kent. I think we need to put a blanket around him. Yeah, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't risk it. I wouldn't risk um, Zuma, mate. Not for me. I'll put this new boy in there with Oggy. Down Z. Down Z, Coventry, Chesters. Uh, Lanzini. Can, can, I hate Lanzini so much. I, I don't even think he's... I don't, I've got no... No, I don't like him for nothing. I might put Ben Rama in there. I don't, I don't expect Lanzini to do anything. Corne Skamaka. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's fair enough. Long as they pulled off at half time and they're ready for the, don't play them eighty minutes and expect them to play for that game, isn't it? That's the only thing I would say. Bloody adverts all the time, isn't it? Yeah, so that's not bad. Shout, Trudy, what are you saying, Trudy? Yeah, I'm going to go into that in a minute, mate. As soon as I've caught up with the chat, we're going to look at the formation for Brighton and we're going to look at um, Vanneken and Emerson quickly. And I have. Changed my mind on Vanneken since last night, right? So I'll let you know. I'll let you know. <laughs> no, no, no. That one's been used too often, mate. Conan the Barbarian. How are you doing, Mr. Burns? Well, apparently Emerson is coming in. Apart from that, we were in for a closet, weren't we, mate, as a wing back slash left back? But my solution, yeah, very interesting you mentioned Corne, but as a absolutely worst case scenario that Crezzy's still there, I'd put Corne in there until hopefully we get someone over the line this window. That's my that's my solution, mate. Oh, good boy, you've done a bit of research. Great, great, brilliant. I tell you what, Peter, you know that, that guy at PSG, he, he was one of the world's top two, three goalkeepers, he's 35. But then I couldn't see it, because we've already got Randolph is still there messing about in the training ground with his, hasn't he, everyone? So I don't know, mate, I don't know. But then again, pile him in, mate, Randolph's on the way out, bring this boy in, mate. But then that made me think, Moyes not sure in Areola now, and he's not his signing. <laughs> I don't know. Is Areola the new Kral, everyone? Is Areola the new Kral? Is he just not? Did Sullivan bring him in? You let me know, mate. You let me know. I'm so happy I might have some run. 
I haven't had any since Sunday. What do you think? Let me know in the chat. Should Jazz have some rum today to celebrate? I might not be. I might, I might carry on being good. Lots of different accents, Steve. Lots of different internationals, yeah. Mikey, Mikey. I tell you what, I'm talking about injuries, Tommy. You know Chelsea about to pay 80 million for Fafana. He just come back from a badly broken leg, mate. I wouldn't pay 80 million for that, mate. You must be joking, lad. You must be joking. Bloody a lot of footage here, isn't it? Ten minutes of him. See up to He looks good. He looks like a Mercedes S class smooth. Can shift up the gears. I make up so much crap. I'm brilliant. You know, I don't know where I get this crap from, I tell you. Should be a bloody DJ on the radio, I think. Peter, Peter's, Peter's diligent, careful, doesn't get excited too much, very careful, double checks everything, didn't you? Good lad, need people like that. <laughs> There's another two going in the jumble sale, Mike. That little Sullivan's turned up. Hello, mate. Buy one, get one free. Tesco's on the shelf. I tell you, if you, I tell you what, what we might be able to take advantage of everyone is because we've we've got hardly anyone in the squad, right? We could do a bit of Daniel Levy, and we're leaving it so late. We're going to pick up a lot of bargains because by then everyone spent their budget. They can't bring anyone in because their squad numbers are full. So by accident, imagine we were too quick and we already had a twenty-five million centre back over the line. Then we would have missed this bargain, and Levy would have been in there, right? So so somehow it's kind of coming back on track, isn't it? Really odd. Kusawa. Sounds like Japanese, isn't it? Probably, isn't it? I don't know. I haven't heard nothing, Pete. I haven't heard nothing, mate. The only thing with rice is, mate, I don't think we're going to get anywhere near 100, 110, 120. It's going to be around the 75 million mark. And I don't think any other club's going to come in for him. Liverpool are going to sign Bellingham next summer. They were going to get him this summer. The family said we want him to stay one more year. Then he's going to sign for Liverpool. No one wants to go to Man United. Chelsea have got... Um, yeah, Chelsea are the only ones in there. Because City have got the Leeds guy, Phillips, haven't they? Spurs have got Busama. We don't do any business with them anyway. Arsenal have got Pate and one or two others. So there ain't money going up there, mate. There ain't much going on down there. I am five minutes behind the chat, and James is there, Jamesy. Orange squash, cheers to James. Sport him on E20 Zone TV. Great channel. Always honest thoughts like we are. We're always swearing, and but honest, yeah, all honest, mate, and driven by passion. So follow James on the E20 Zone TV. He's one of my old mates on TV. The rest are all broken up with now, aren't we, James? <laughs> That's only me and James left together. <laughs> In the James. Oh, God, all this, all this politics in West Ham channels, isn't it, mate? But me and James are all right. We're all right. <laughs> you make me feel hungry now, mate. I've never been to Belgium, right? And I kept thinking, and I know, again, I'm being honest, and I'm so bad sometimes what I get up to say. I didn't know that there's anything to do in Brussels, so I never went. I know he's on the Eurostar, but then when I read into it, apparently they've got the best French fries that are triple cooked waffles with was it chocolate ice cream and all those kind of things and even with the fries you get like 30 40 dips to choose from so by all means and good beer good beer i've heard in belgium so and apart from inspector poirot belgium does have a lot to offer everyone naughty jazz always always generalizing Ariola, ashby Kara, oggy yeah we're gonna have a look at it let me go through the comments because i'm five points behind i like the how big he is he's dominant He's good at set pieces, corners. He's a bit of Suchek, but perhaps, yeah, perhaps he's a give Suchek some competition, mate. 28 29. The club didn't want to sell him, Kent, didn't he? They were like, no, no, you're not going anywhere, full stop. But then the player's like, come on, I want to go. And that can make a difference because he's giving them good service. He's their main sort of player, does everything. The only thing is, when I saw his goals on YouTube, it just looked so easy for him because the Belgium league is crap. He has so much room to do whatever you... Hold his goals. You're shooting straight at the goalkeeper. They're going in, right? That was the only thing. That is the only thing, mate. Yes, Amy. You know, all the Pia goals are coming back on screen, aren't they, mate? All the Pia goals are coming back on screen. Let me close that one down for now. And then we're going to look at... 
something else. Do you want me to put on? All right, all right. What I'll do while we're chatting, I'm going to put on the goals for Vanekin, right? I'm going to put that on now. Vanekin, I'm going to put that on. Oh shit! Someone spelled it wrong. You naughty boys, you spelled it wrong. I don't know how to spell either. Oh mate, how do you spell Vanekin? Someone help. Du, 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 Vanekin. Oh my god. Played for that team Brussels, didn't he? Oh mate. Oh no. How do you spell Vanekin? Anyone help? Ba, 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 da, ba, ba. Might be A in there then. Yes, we've done it. There he is. Okay, we know how to spell it now. Let me put some goals on for you. There we go. Yeah, fire things are coming up, mate. I don't think Vanekin's that CDM, is he? I think he's Suchek type. He can mess about around there, but he's more about goals and assists, I think. We still need that solid CDM, James. You're right. And there's not many of them around. That's one of my bit pissed off for what happened with the Nana, right? We'll never truly know what happened. Sounds like a bit of what David Moyes couldn't sell the club to him, a bit more Lampard's final call. Don't know, mate, not sure, but we do need a proper CDM who just sits there. So we need a proper striker like Skamaka who just stays there in the right position, off himself there, and we need a proper CDM who, who doesn't have these dreams like Rice of scoring 30-yard goals, right? Proper CDM like Kante, just sit there. You remember, was it Batty of Leeds back in the day? And um, was it Steve McMahon, Liverpool, and all those players? Just sit there. That's what we need, mate. Goals will come from elsewhere. Yeah, I wouldn't mind. Listen again, the, a great player. Career's gone a little bit, probably hanging around with me too much, um, James, taking him around the pubs too much, you and me around Dagnan, mate. But yeah, I don't know. But I'll, I'll be in there, mate. He's an ex Moyes player. Get a tune out of him till Christmas. Check it out, anyway. Check it out. Shall I tell you something that you just remind me of, Epic? My sixth sense, I'm a bit worried about Agard. What a stupid thing for me to say. I'm not sure about him, how he's going to settle in the Premiership. I don't know. I Just something, I'm, I'm a bit worried about him. I didn't know nothing about him before he signed. I'm just going by what the club has looked at. I know it takes time. It's a very important position, centre-back partnerships, and it takes time to... And being a defender in a modern game is very, very hard as well. And there's so many fast players and hard to keep marking your players. So I hope he settles in. He's worth 30 million. I'm just a bit worried about him. I would have perhaps have still got someone like him, but I would have bought me or Tykowski. And me scored a goal, I think, straight away. Tykowski's a regular. People are that, mate. Yeah, I don't know, mate. I don't know, mate. Yeah, it was... Yeah, he'll still have two seasons left, I think, at the end of last, next season, isn't it? So I hope you're all right, Pitsy. Pitsy's fuming about Antonio, haven't you? You're fuming, mate. Everyone in the, everyone, everyone in the chat for Pitts, give Antonio three hip hip hooray and cheers. Antonio, hip hip hooray, hip hip hooray, hip hip hooray. There we go. We respected Antonio. <laughs> <laughs> the fee should be 10 11 do you reckon get him in you save 10 on 10 15 on this guy 28 29 28 29 keep checking the footage and let me know how he looks Look, all of his goals look a bit badly marked. Lots of room. Goalkeepers are shit. It's just like, I don't know, mate. It's not like that in the Premier League, is it? Cheers, mate. Cheers, Lee. Cheers. And if you want to have a meet for a beer at the ground, let me know. Let me know, mate. Send me a private Twitter message. Always, always up for a little pint with um, all, all you guys, mate. I think 10, I'm thinking, plus add-ons. Is that fair? Yeah, mate, I didn't know who he was, and he's like a Mercedes, isn't he, mate? He's like a Mercedes, James. He's, he's smooth gears, it's nice and pacey. 
Got a physique of a Greek god. Get in there. Oh, Mr. Marvel, Captain Marvel. Benny was having a, a great game. Oh, mate, Mr. Moisey, Mr. Moisey, he? always surprises us, mate. Thank you, sir, thank you. Yeah, we're all agreeing, 10, 11, mate, and a, and a bag of apples. Jonathan, how you doing, mate? Chat's going mad, mate, I can't keep up with it. Any more rumours fighting? No, no, no. They haven't told me off. They tell me off when I put premiership footage in. Bloody Lingard, bloody that video told me off, but I fixed it. No, they don't, they don't bother about these. No one bothers. Because this has already been on another channel. I'm copying a channel. Channel's copied, so it's duplicated. No, they don't say anything. But you can get told off. So what you need to do then, you cut that bit out then. Once you get the alert and put in some music or change it, and then it's back to normal again. But even when they tell you off, they do say you're not going to get monetized, which I'm not going to at this level anyway. I need about a grand, don't I? I think after that it gets interesting. I love fish fingers, mate. I tell you what, talking about fish fingers, I bought a box of 30, £7.50. The cost of living, and you're going to laugh now, I'm going to tell you so many funny things. Bag of hash browns, bird's eye, ladies and gentlemen, they used to be about a quid, £2.50 in Tesco's, right? I'm not, I ain't going to, I ain't touching that, mate. Iceland, £1, forget that. But the, but the price of booze isn't going up. Alcohol price is the same, which is dropping. I keep buying these Bacardi bottles. I keep getting good offers. Seventeen pound for a litre, two today, mate. Thirteen pound a litre the other week. It's a short gap. We ain't got the money, mate. But we we need we need people, don't we? We need people. We need people. There's Jazz's silly little thing. We're gonna look at the formations in a minute. Oh, Pitsy, Pitsy. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had a Big Mac in ages, mate. Oh, my God. Naughty Big Mac. Burger King's the one, isn't it? Burger King's better. Oh, did he? Did he see both of them scored, see? I was right. <laughs> no, I'm in a happy mood. No, no. Look, I'll give you three cheers now. Come on. Don't be like that now. Right, let's flip through these. Now, what is Simon? A lot of these clubs, the prices for them is too cheap. We're too posh for that. You might find a great pair of jeans below designer level, different brand. Nah. So some of that, you know, they don't, they have to, it's like um, Broger. If Broger was 70 million, Chelsea would buy him. He's sitting in their own doorstep with Gallagher. They don't want to touch him. It's a pure business. They go around London or they're going around Manchester like Man City, picking up all the, going around in wheelbarrows, picking up all the kids, right? And then they'll be they'll be recycled for 30 million, 20 million, 40 million. They're not going to play a game. Since Terry for Chelsea, all right, Reese James got in there, give him that. Actually, quite a few, haven't it? Mason Mounts and there. Uh, yeah, they had more and more than before. The City got that photo, didn't they? Yeah, so don't worry. What, see, whatever's good for us, we don't care if it's not good for anyone else. We've got to look at our own situation, finances, formations, whatever we need, we need. You know, if, if another club didn't go for them, it's not our problem. Hey, Frankie, Frankie. How you doing, Frankie? All right, cheers, mate. Rum coming out tonight, mate. Rum going to come out tonight. Let me go to the end now. I don't know why all these ones are coming out a bit weird, don't they? With your blessings and your love, my pitsy boy, we will, we will. I can't do anything without you lovely people in the chat. Jazz's rum night's going to be next week from the West Ham bar. That's going to be a drunken, crazy, funny show. So that's going to be next Thursday night. No subject matter. Start drinking. You joining me with your pints of beer next Thursday night. I think the show advert thing's already on there on YouTube. And like I said, if I meet any of you on the ground, you recognize me, I'll buy you a pint of beer or a drink for sure. Right? No problem about that. 
and Kent Hammers is a legend. Very, very Kent Hammers is a huge guy on Facebook. Follow him, search for him. Puts in really, really good, interesting stuff, full of knowledge. Brilliant. Right, we're going to look at the formation, aren't we? So let's put Jazz in the corner. He's not important. Pitsy boy. <laughs> Wait, no, 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 no. Forget the past. Right. Okay, so you guys tell me what you want. What do you want to do? This is matching Brighton, right? This is matching. I look weird down there. Let me put myself down there. That looks even weird. Hang on a minute. All right. So this is matching Brighton's formation, everyone. Fabianski in goal. I'm going to sneeze now. Shit, man. Let me, let me just wait for your comment. This is... Uh, never go live, everyone. Oh, my God. We have so much fun. Don't be sneezing. Can't find YouTube. I get lost in the chats. It's brilliant. Brilliant, isn't it? Bedlam. Right. This is matching the Brighton formation, the way they play. So, Dunks in the middle. On, I will not play Zuma tomorrow. We'll rest him. Wrap him in cotton wool. Kira... The boy can play, and, you, and, I'd, I, and I'd start him in that game. I don't care. I'd start him in that game, right? He's probably on the training ground tomorrow. Listen, if he's trained for PSG up to yesterday or the day before, play him in. And David Moyes, oh, well, you haven't played in 24 hours. I'll have to look at you for two, three months. Put him in. Put him in, mate. So I would put Kerry in against Brighton, and I'd put him in tomorrow. I put Crezzy in there because we haven't signed a left back, and I think Corne a bit further up would do. So Crezzy has he's done well because he gets covered by the other two. So as long as you don't tell Crezzy to chase back tackle, and he's got someone around him, he's fine, right? So he's okay in there. And with Skamaka playing up front, Crezzy could could launch some missiles from there, right? He could launch some missiles from there. So what I'm doing, Rice is going to protect that back three a bit. Corne left wing, Bowen right wing. Suchek a bit further afield because he cannot defend, like we mentioned yesterday. Van Rama Antonio behind Skameka. So Pitsy boy, let me know. You think this looks good? Patrick's on. Patrick, Patrick. Are you right, mate? Did I? Good lad. Meet me again. Yeah, we'll do the same, mate. This is a lineup for Brighton, and we'll do Champions League as well, but with your input, I'll mess about with it. I can change it, yeah? So I think this is a lineup for Brighton for me, yeah? So let me know. I know I know a lot of people don't agree. That's that's perfect. I just think we need to match them up because they're in a they're in a better place than us. Their preseason, their starting is much more stronger, very good results. Um, their midfield's very strong. Um, so I just think this way we're kind of protecting the back. And I think those wingers have got engine in them that can track back and help even further. So, you, I mean, Corne and Bowen can make that back five easy, right? And we've got Rice there as well. And then Suchek, Antonio, Ben Ramos, Kamaka. Hopefully, Bowen and Corne got the engines to join them. So, I think, I think this is all right. This is all right. They do. They do, mate. They do. They do. They play Denmark. And I think that come out. It's going to be on Premier Sports, everyone. And we'll be doing a watch along tomorrow and next week, I think, and you'll see how it goes. But I heard Dom, my good friend, Dom's got tickets. He's when he looks on the map of, map of Denmark, and I'll show you in a minute. And I'll go into this in a minute. You know me, I'm going on another bloody tangent again, right? Let's have a look at Vyborg map of Vyborg map of Denmark, the land of lovely bacon. What's your favourite bacon piece? Mine's is back bacon, non-smoked. That's what I like, mate. That's what I like. Right, let me click on that. Right. When you look at that map, everyone, can E, let me just hide your comments. Viborg. Oh, for flipping hell, man. What is going on, Jazz? Yeah, that would be better, I think. Just click on that. All right. 
I am bloody useless. I am bloody really useless. But basically, what I was trying to let, tell you guys was that the map of Denmark, it's, it's all part of different islands. It's different islands how you get there. I'm going to chuck in a bin. No, the bloody hell is my vlog. Oh, for God's sake. Okay, I think I think we're there. Oh, for God's sake, someone help me, mate. Where is this stupid map? Da, da, da. Right, I'm going to give up on that. I'll give up, I'll give up, I'll give up. Right. Basically, Denmark's a collection of three, four different islands, and you have to fly into, like, where Copenhagen is and then get yourself another boat to one of the other islands. So Viborg's one of the other islands. Jesus Christ, that's my blood pressure's gone up now. Hang on, mate. Hang on a minute. Okay, that's fine. Let me just share my screen again with you guys. Yeah, forget it, Tommy. Wasting my bloody time doing that crap. Thank you, sir. Jonathan's having a laugh. <laughs> I know what you mean. I don't know. I don't, I don't know to put on that side. I don't, we haven't got left back. And you guys have a go at me when I put Cornet there. It is an issue, isn't it, mate? It's an issue. I don't know what to do. Unless some of you in the chat can play. Imagine we had Julian Dix, mate. Julian Dix. Yeah, I know, mate. I know, I know. <laughs> I don't like Gammon. My son used to like that. I don't, like, I don't, I don't get it with Gammon. I don't like it. Yeah, you're not far off. And let us know in the chat if you're going, Ken. I know you like to go to a lot of away games. But listen, financially, everyone's constrained. You can't go to every match possible. And also, you have to, you can't free up your weekend or all that kind of thing. So respect to people who make that effort, mate. Right, should we have a look at the game for, um... yeah, Pitsy, you know it, mate. You know it, mate. So what I'll do... Right, yeah, I'm going to create this formation with your help, you guys. Right, so what we're going to do, we're going to change the players. So so what's the formation tomorrow, you guys are thinking of, right? So should we kick Crazy out? Right, I've got, I'm going to kick Zuma out. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Rice, who check? Do we have to play Rice tomorrow? Let me put Dawson in there. I don't think we need to put Rice in there. Let me put Dawson in. No, Dawson... Downs, I am so bad, and I'm right in form today, mate. All right, Downsy, Suchek. Suchek, I wouldn't put Suchek in there either. You're right, don't put Suchek in there. Cornace, Kamaka up front, something like that. Benny Boy, we need. Antonio, we don't need. So who do you want in there? Rice and Crazy. Oh, good lad, Crazy's band. What's Ashby? I don't even know where he plays. What is he? Right back, left back? What's Ashby? Shake it all about. Where does Ashby play? Help me out. Kara in the middle. You put him in the middle. Where does Ashby play then? Sue check downs and turn you. Bowen. You want Bowen to play, don't you? Who can play left wing then? No one, isn't it? Should play a corner left wing. Skamaka. I think we should play two up front. Should have these two like that. So we need. Oh, you guys wanted. Um... Oh, yeah, you guys wanted. Um... Coventry. Connor Coventry, didn't you? Coventry Downs. Bowen, Corne, Ben Rama. 
Antonio Kufau. What do you want Johnson in there? Kara and instead of Rice. Ashby right back, yeah? Ashby right back. Johnson left back. Hate doing this, but what else can I do? And instead of Rice. Do you want some youngster in there, yeah? Zuma. Can be Ariola in there. I don't know. Let me know. Let me know, you naughty people. 70 people in the chat. Come on. Talk to me. Talk to me. Let me know what you guys want to do. And subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe, everyone. 850 subs so far. It's going up, buddy. Rapidly, mate. Maybe John, right there, it's the interaction. We're doing some interaction now. I like that, I like that. So we're saying, maybe Johnson, the centre-back, Longello, left-back. Okay, okay, mate, okay. Youngster, Longello, and then we'll wrap this up and we'll go into something else before we close down. Longello, left-back. Oh, God. Okay, so we were saying Kara can play both sides. Yeah, come on. With respect, it's a team from Denmark who've already... Two players can't play, everyone. You know, the, there's two players for for Vyborg who didn't have enough time to get clearance for entering a non-EU country because we didn't know for one... Only one week notice, wasn't it, everyone? One guy scored a goal frequently and is a regular, and the other one as well. So two two good players. Yeah, I know. Okay, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my name in until you guys give me another name. So I'm, 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 I'm playing. We need a left-sided someone who can play next to Kara. It's not ideal, is it, mate? It's not ideal. Downs, Coventry. See, you can't. We haven't, we haven't got enough people, have we? It's weird, isn't it? It's weird, isn't it? But that's kind of what it is. That's kind of what it is. Right, this guy, hands of Anakin, everyone. But before I do that, let's have a look at any more rumours, right? Let's have a look at some more rumours. Who else are we going to sign? You want to look at Amazon, don't you? Uh, I'm not sure about him. I'm not sure about him. Let's see what the latest news is. UK inflation has hit 10%. X has just said. Craig Dawson will not be available for another week at least. Craig Dawson is not available. Sir Nook says, Sir Nook. CR7, India football. Big issue, mate. China and India, isn't it? Big populations. India, they only play football in the east side. Bengal, isn't it? Or Bhutan, that's the only place that play football. They're cricket mad. China spent all that money on that league. It's gone down the drain. The, lead, the Chinese leadership don't want to supplement or fund that league anymore because Arnie, Arno, Ar, our old player Arnautovic, Arnie has taken all the money out of China. So nothing going on there, mate. Paya is the rumour. Who does he play for? Yeah, I'm not sure, but I don't know who he is. Doesn't like any youngsters, mate. Doesn't like any youngsters. So that's the news on him. The other news is... This news doesn't seem to go away. Neves. This is weird, isn't it? This news is not going away. Great, great player, world-class legend like Buffon. What does that mean if we bring him in on the free on a high? What does that mean? One of the one of the things is he Ariel's Alex Crowell. He ain't gonna play. 
Or Randolph's on the way out. Great, great. This guy's top dollar, mate. Top dollar. Yeah, let me know in the chat what you think about um, this guy, Neves. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? It's not going away. So bids have gone in for Hans Vanneken and, and Emerson due to X. So those two those two are coming in then, mate. Palmieri's around 13 million. 10 is today signing. Vanneken's going to be about 10, 11. Palmieri, well, he knows the league. He knows London. The other boy's not a risk for me. Vanneken's a risk, but... Just shows how much money we got. That means we don't want to go for Ross, Ross Barkley or, or Chelsea are being a total pain with with all their players. They're not they're playing hardball, aren't they? You know, that's the issue. Right, what's this one then? I don't I don't even know about this. Does anyone know about this? See, there's a, there's not so many we could follow, isn't there, everyone? I didn't know anything about this guy. Huge arse. Should you have a look at him, mate? Should you have a look at him? Let's look at Vanneken very quickly, then we move into what you guys are saying. Let's have a look at very quickly. Listen, the thing with Vanneken that hit me, he's going to be 30 next week. He's 30, right? He's very tall, 21 caps, five goals, um, largely in the Belgium League. He has played some Champions League games. He looks, he's a good physique, very tall. Bit like Suchek, really. So let's have a look at your player, mate. So you're saying you. I hope this is the right spelling. Otherwise, you know what I'm like. We're going to struggle. Nah. How do you spell it? <laughs> he does not coming up. He's not coming up. Who does he play for? We might find it that way. Nah. Yeah. Give me the spelling of that one, Alex, and I will have a look, mate. I don't mind now. That's 35. Big, big name. You know, some kids might have his name on the back. 35. Tommy, I think as the season unravels, we're going to have an issue at goalkeeper. We're going to have an issue, mate. Wazim, but how are you doing, mate? You all right? Let me let tell me in the chat. You play cricket? Bit of a right right off spinner, mate. Batsman, let me know. Let me know, mate. Yeah, Kenty. Kent, I'm glad that you, you bring up great points. And I've, I gave up on all those points a long time ago, mate. <laughs> There's nothing happening, mate, on the youth team. There's nothing happening, mate. You saw last season, you mate, you had two, three goalkeepers on the bench. I reckon this season I'll be on the bench. They'll be like, Jazz, you want to come down? Like, you know, just sit on the end. That'll be rum and coke. Just keep the seats warm. Crazy, isn't it? Which, which is this player, Tommy Arthur? Who's that? don't know. Yeah, he is, mate. I know he is. Beggars can't be choosers, huh? <laughs> Moyes is love affairs. Love affairs, mate. You remember what I said yesterday about Moyes, about his wife? Remember? What do you want for pizza, love? Oh, I don't know. Can I think about it? <laughs> but then delivery is like, shut. You know, we're not delivering anymore. Oh, mate. Dave likes a value for money. Scottish people do, don't they? They're known for being tight. Again, I'm generalising. They're known for that. So Dave spends West Ham money like his own money, you know? Dave, Dave, they're about to shut. What pizza do you want? Hurry up. You know, you get that with the kids. Hurry up. I've got to put the order on. What do you want, mate? What do you want? <laughs> oh, mate. Oh, all right, who's this? Is this the right spelling then? Because we're all going to get stuck then. Let's have a look. Ooh, there's two of them. Ooh. You want another sound about you lot? I'll do 22, 20, 23 next week. Hmm, value, 30, ooh, value, Lonnie. A lot of value. 
What's he been up to then? Did he play last season against us, did he? Don't know much about him. Yeah, don't know. I don't know much about him. Cyber leader is here. At your service, sir. <laughs> you lot. Oh, mate. Let's have another go then. Arcy, Arcy. There's nothing coming up. Yeah, I've Napoli been linked with him. Tommy, you're right, you're right, mate, you're right. Pitsy, 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 Pitsy's worried. Yeah, yeah, who else is going to go? <laughs> Tesco's. <laughs> no one else wants him, mate. I don't know why we want him. But he was in the Italian team, wasn't he, Europa? So look, what I said is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to moan and moan, but when he signs and he's one of us, I ain't saying nothing after that. And I'll be more happy than anyone if he proves me wrong. Because I didn't, I didn't moan about a Dawson either. There's a thing called rumours here. Tracks or rumours. Player agent rumours. I'll have a look at it in a minute. Hang on. Transfer rumours. Latest transfers. Let's have a look. City have signed another right back. Loan transfer. He's joined Man City, joined Marseille, actually. Go to the transfer rumour mill. Is this the rumour mill? It brings you back into here. Oh, he's joined us already. Don't forget all that money Brighton have, got, Brighton have been getting and will be getting. And Leicester, that's all going to be recycled again, isn't it? What I'm going to do, let me shut that screen off and we'll have a little private one-to-one -one chat, shall we? Um, so, yeah, for me, um, really, really happy with Kara. I've done some research last night. Great player for 10 million. He was worth 33 million three, four years ago when he went from Schalke to PSG and Barcelona wanted him. He'll help us at centre-back um, straight away. Then on to right-back, I think. Agard. Don't know. See, Agard is a... I don't know. I don't know how Agard's going to do when he comes back. I haven't got a clue. Um, I can't. There's not when when he play in the French league, and I don't know. I don't know. We'll see what happens with Agard, but not a good start, and it can have an effect sometimes. Um, so I think he will join. He will join, mate. He will join. Um, Emerson, not really keen, but we'll kind of take him and see how it goes. Why can't we make that a loan move? That would be. I'd be more happy with that, but. Chelsea being Chelsea, they, they hold all the cards. You know, Emerson's 28, 29. I, I wouldn't pay 15, 20 for him. 30 million's about right. A max should be 10 plus add-ons. Um, that that Vanneken, Hanneken bloke, whatever. Yeah, that's fine. Bring him in. He's he's another suit check, isn't he, really? He's not proper CDM. And he's been used to the Belgium League. It might be difficult coming in, but we'll see what happens. Anana would have been the real, real, real rice replacement, I think. But then again, we don't know how he's going to settle in under Everton. We'll see how it goes. So, yeah, things are beginning to happen. And accidentally, like I said, by being really slow in the transfer market, by fluke, by luck, we're picking up a lot of these bargains. So if we had wrapped up all our signings a good while ago, then we wouldn't have any room for these people or have any money. So it's kind of going for us at the moment. And there's going to be more surprises because I think leading up to the last day of the window, there's going to be a lot more people that could come in through the door. And whether Sullivan and Gold are willing to dip into their private personal pockets to help us remains to be seen. I would because financially you're going to get really good deals at the end. Financial fair play teams that need to get players out cheap because this boy, Kara, is really 15 to 20 million. We've screwed him for 10 because they had no choice, right? And um, that's the thing to look out for with people like um, Conor, um, Conor Gallagher, uh, Broger, Ross Barclay, uh, one or two more from Chelsea, Bailey at Man United, maybe Liverpool want to get rid of someone, um, Arsenal, all, the, all these other teams, Spurs. Actually, one player right, I've been thinking about, right, before we call it quits in five minutes, I didn't like him. I used to laugh at him, laugh at the club that signed him, laugh at the transfer signing fee. I like let, let let me put him up. Let me put him up. I'm not gonna let me surprise you, right? 
I want this player actually to come on loan, right? Right, he's a CDM, kind of a CDM, but more of an attacking CDM, but he can do it. He's a stop start the way his career's gone. Let me know. Let me know what you think about him. I think he's worth worth looking at. Let me know in the chat what you think. I, I would take him on a very low per loan to perm or on loan. They they paid a lot of money for this guy. Loads of money. They paid 50, 60 million. He's come down to 30 million now. He's 25, seven caps. He's got that bit of... Who's that player we had from Arsenal on loan? He used to play for Arsenal and he done so well under Sam. Do you remember he, he absolutely smashed it up to January in that in that Sam season when we're trying to I think this boy is worth a crack. I think I think it's um it's interesting. Let me know in the chat. I'll put your stats up for you before you call it quits. So he's on loan at Lyon, eleven games, played in the FA Cup, reasonable number of goals. A lot of pedigree, so I would, I would look at this guy, everyone. But I don't know if Levy wants to do business with us. Let me go through the comments. Hey, hey, hey. are you doing all right, mate? Yeah, yeah, I know, Frankie, I'm trying to make him happy. I'm trying to make him happy. I think he's all right. I've settled him down. His blood pressure's low. We've done... Frankie, you missed it. We've done hip, hip, hooray for Antonio three times. We're looking after Pitsy. We look after everyone in there. Yep, even me. Brandon, you naughty boy. Why is your first time? Tell your neighbours. Tell your... Kids, tell your grandparents, everyone, to subscribe. I need to hit 1,000 next week. Good lad, Brandon. Good lad. Hopefully, mate. Hopefully in praying. Oh, all right, mate. Kent knows this stuff. Kent is ultimate championship manager player. He's... They do. Yeah, yeah. And we did. We did say that. Yeah, we did say that. Absolutely right, mate. Great snip. Great, great, great. <laughs> mate, mate. Uh, that, that's the thing, isn't it? Forrest. Apparently Forrest were in for Corne, very close to getting him. Luckily Lingard thing got done and they kind of moved to there. Um, but the thing what might have been Forrest, I don't think they would have had Lingard and Corne together, would they? They're probably thinking we get Corne, Lingard's going over there, and then it kind of went that way, didn't it? I don't know. Yeah, we're all going for the same same teams, aren't we, mate? Oh, you can only loan one player. Really? Hmm, interesting. We'll have a look at that. Bitsy, Bitsy's still angry, Fitz. I think it'd be Caden, Kevin, you're right. I think Kara would be the right back, wouldn't it? Zuma's knees, they reckon, can go frequently. They reckon going into the future that Zuma's going to break down frequently, like last season. So he could go at any time, mate. We don't know. So God knows what's going to happen, mate. Not me, mate. Not me. Not me. No, no, no. Got my son's A-level results coming out tomorrow. Yeah, find out in the morning if he's got his uni of his choice, isn't it? I think he'd be all right. Yeah, a lot of bit of um, merry-go-round, isn't it, mate? Once one club signs someone for a lot of money, they end up with a lot of money, and then it all gets recycled, doesn't it? Yeah, it doesn't excite me that much, mate. Yeah, that name came up, didn't it, mate? That name came up. 
the only thing with the ex Man United players are used to such huge packages financially. I don't think we're that keen on them, mate. Bailey, I don't, I don't want Bailey, mate. Yeah, yeah, I know, mate. I know. Da, 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 da. I think he's all right. I think there's something in him you can tap out of him because his price. Listen, this player was a fifty-five million pound player three years, four years ago. I've got to guard him the right way. There's something in there. But I don't, I don't know how much money we got. He can do. He, he can. He can put his leg in and do well in that position in the middle. Twenty-five. Is it all right, mate? All right. Alex Song, that's the one, Ken. That was the one I was thinking of, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I will be doing a watch along then for you guys. Yeah, we do watch along tomorrow, tomorrow, yeah, with a bit of rum. We'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do it. Patrick's on. Patrick knows it. <laughs> <laughs> that means that means we can do the early subs. Cheeky boys, you are cheeky and ladies. Sorry. Maybe, maybe, mate. Yeah, we'll have a look, mate. I'll go through these comments and then we'll call it. Let me hide this along. Got my lovely mug now. Yeah. Listen, one hour seven minutes. This channel, watch how big my head's going to get now, bigger than what it is. It's the fastest growing West Ham channel. I think we've doubled our subs in the last month. We're regularly doubling, tripling channels that have been around three, four, five years. We've only been around since January, and it's just your love. I really appreciate everything going on. Each, each, you know, really appreciate it. We're going through the roof. Thank you to all you in there. Also, my, my, my nice... My dangerous colleagues, Frankie and Matt, so I hope you're going to be enjoying their input into the channel going forward, especially I think me and Frankie got to do our Friday show together, then we'll do the review of the games with Frankie and Matt. Honest views, knowledgeable views, and I hope you like that. I hope you like that. No messing about, no political. No, you're not, not, not going yes or no. We're, I'm black or white, mate. You're crap, you're good, and this is why. Away we go. I don't care about what happens, you know. And that's what I think what you guys want to hear. Let's go for a few of them at the bottom, mate. Oh, thank you, Tommy. That's it, Tommy. Tommy loves it, mate. Tommy. <laughs> We're kind of roman romantics, aren't we? I wouldn't say no to Pi. Eh? Someone put that footage out there today. Oh, my God. Bet know what, mate. Good on you, Ken. Hope, you, hope um, we entertain you. Like Robbie sang, hope we entertain you. Hope there's lots of goals. And Kent, you have to tell us when you come back next time what the prices were. You know, hopefully it's not seven pound, whatever. That's 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 not looking after your fans, is it, mate? Yeah, that's why I heard Carter that he he did he did what he do, but then he settled down and looked very very good, isn't it? Hmm. Yeah, he'll be all right. He'll be all right, mate. Right, let me write that one down then. I didn't know about him, mate. What was that name? Aldera is okay. We'll get some footage up there, mate. Ix. Listen, Ix are good players, aren't they? Good players, Ix. Hope you're right, Ballard. Hope you're right, mate. Nah, another Antonio, mate. <laughs> Pitsy can have a go at me. Pitsy, you didn't hear that. I didn't say nothing. I didn't say. I love Antonio. I love his one goal since Christmas. I never said nothing, Pitts. Love you. White, <laughs> <laughs> mate. White, mate. Oi. Yeah, I'm going to frame that message now and show my wife. <laughs> Anyway, listen. Um, yeah, bring them in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get the wheelbarrow in and knock on people clubs' doors and just pile them in and bring them in. Like I said, so let's see where we end up. We're going to be doing a mammoth show for transfer window. 
I'll probably be live for the all day from morning till night. So get my coffee with that's gonna be a mad night as well. We'll do we'll do that everything together. And then just trying to get some time to do some history shows for you, bring that back, you know. So if you're new, please subscribe. Oh my god, I'm so where, where's it gone? That's it. Please subscribe. Need to get 1k quick and watch the old videos I've done. Green Street volumes one, two, and three. Went back and shot that with two, three colleagues and fans. And we're bringing a little bit more of that, yeah. So just let me know what, what more you want. We try not to do too many things other channels do. We don't like to preview games, I think it's overkill. When it comes to reviewing the game which is much better that's when you see jazz a little bit little bit on his way with a bit of rum shouting and screaming so we don't do the build up we do review afterwards and certainly follow the transfer market carefully any breaking news want to go back into the hammer history shows bring you some interesting stuff people haven't tapped on that kind of thing really um i just want to show you one more thing before i go actually it's on the bottom so follow, just do me a favor, like I said yesterday, while you're on there, one more, I just need 10 more of your second, and I just want one more thing to show you, if I can, there it is, I've lost you guys now, because I've got so many screens open, there we go, right, I've got it now, I've got it now, so I just need a few more, yeah. Let me just share that. So if you can just support these three guys. So you got Canningtown Len. I called him Ken. So sorry, Len. Canningtown Len Studios. Get a portrait for yourself or for your loved ones as a present. I've got one, as you can see on the channel. Or go into the studio and buy the ones he's done of the players in history. A very sort of talented artist, Robert Banks been on my channel a couple of times author searching on youtube he's doing the john lyle years episode by episode season by season 1974 to 1989 e13 events sell lots of memorabilia do lots of events there's one coming up in october where the 1974 1975 team is going to be there i'm hopefully going to sort my ticket out today might meet you some guys there you can see the number and everything so just follow those guys really yeah Follow those guys. Let me just follow up a couple of more comments. That's what we want. We want more people from the youth team. We want people who fit into the right peg holes, whatever you call them. That's We're all on the same wavelength for me. And we want pace. And we want dynamic football like some of the other teams are playing. Fast counter-attacks, pressing game, a striker who can press the back four, stop them from bringing the ball out quick. And, and just people and, and different ways of scoring goals people who are really good with set pieces corners someone who can take a penalty hint hint and just just do it like that right so we'll give them yeah yeah we are all angry about what's happened last two windows but we've got to just shove it to the back now hopefully things will get fixed this window and we get our season back on track right still a lot of work to be done we've had a really poor pre-season really not good enough window up to now for what we needed and that's all in the back of not doing enough right we all know but yeah we all want the same thing a dynamic skillful multi-talented fast fast team we we'll play on the front foot move the ball around quick and we've got more than one way of scoring goals am i right i am right one more comment and then we're going to call it Oh, my Paul, you make me cry. Paul, you're going to make me cry, Paulie. Love you. Love you, Paul. Anyway, it's a good night from me, and it's good night from you guys. And we'll catch up tomorrow, yeah? We'll catch up tomorrow. Oh, if Emerson deal happens, and I'll jump on in my pajamas, and we'll discuss it. And then what I said about him, I don't want him in, but once he's one of us, got our shirt on, then no more having to go with the boy, and we'll support him, yeah? But me, and after a few minutes, what are you doing? What are you done? Not really, but there we go. Right, anyway, take care, everyone. Love you all. Take care.